What's up guys, my name is Josh and today I'm going to be showing you how to add administrative menus to the back of WordPress. Either these are basically just options pages for either your WordPress, your theme, your custom theme or your plugin that you're building. And you maybe want to add some settings for the user to interact with your plugin or theme to make it easier rather than, um, well, rather than, well, it just makes it easier really, doesn't it? If you have an options, uh, little options page where you can display some values and fields like, I don't know, uh, change the main background color or maybe turn on a function or not or turn on an option, you can do it within obviously your settings uh, page. So we want to build that, we want to build a settings page, we want to build this. I've already built one here but we are going to be building a top level one as well just so you get a rough gist on how to go about it and we're also going to have some um, sub menus without like this. <clears throat> so what you want to do is that you want to go into the back of WordPress and you also want to go to your themes function PHP file or your plugins PHP functions file. And in there, we, I've just uh, pre-started it. I've just put a comment that add theme settings menu just so you know where you are. Add action, admin menu, and the function I want to run, which is set up theme admin menus. And this is the function below. <clears throat> now this setup here does build this menu. Um, it's got the it's running the function add theme page, which is going to add a settings page underneath your appearance. You can change it, and if you if you want to, I don't know, put it under tools, you can do. If you went to the Codex Administrative Menus by WordPress, you can see a list of all the administration menus you can actually build like the uh, management page will put it under tools so you've got an extra toolbar menu media page ex uh, exactly what it says on the media and etc etc it's just built exactly the same way that the only difference is, is this one's just called add media where is it add media page media page oh if i just scratch that out and i'm just going to use what's there already because it's practically the same and i'll just quickly refresh this page can't load rocket theme settings that's fine because I've obviously have removed the page and it should be it should be under there yeah it is there we go after refresh there it is so we've got that here now instead of um, under appearance but we're going to change it back to appearance just so we know where we are so obviously this is it's gonna if I save that now and refresh this page it's not gonna work because obviously we've, we've removed the page the page doesn't exist under me, me, uh, media anymore it's now back where it belongs in appearance. So they, right, so this is I'm just going to work you through it. Uh, add theme page, theme settings, the page title. Uh, Rocket theme, the menu title, which is there. Is it? Yeah, it's there. Uh, manage options capability. So you want this page to be able to manage some options. Uh, this is obviously for privileges and restrictions. If you've got specific users that don't want that, you don't want them to allow to um, edit certain pages. You can do. You can change it. Uh, the Rocket Theme slug, uh, theme slug, which is the um, the slug for the page or the URL, and the callback function to build the page. So the contents of this page is run by another function, which I'm calling here. So I'm calling the Rocket Theme Settings page, and if I scroll down. I've got it as a separate function here, so the Rocket Theme Settings page. If the current user cannot manage options, then die. You don't. Uh, you do not have sufficient privileges to access this page, but I do. Uh, else, echo your details and what you want, you know, like your forms and your submit buttons and your design here, so you can paste it in there. So I've just got some basic text here, and that's pretty much it. That's pretty much how to just add it into the theme, uh, the appearance menu, just by adding the adding. Uh, add theme page um, and that this is just a basic uh, layout of a page um, I will run through uh, how to do like text fields in the future um, and in, in a later video so keep an eye out for that um, right for now what we're gonna do is that we now want to do a top level menu so for this instance I'm just going to uncomment this and just redo it again so it's near of the same same layout as the ad theme page. You've got page title, menu title, capability, menu slug, but you, uh, callback function. But you've also got icon URL and position. 
icon URL self-explanatory. It's the icon like here, custom icon, and the position whereabouts in here do you want it to go? I just put it as 100, so 100 will stick it down at the bottom, so I, and I know where it's, uh, <clears throat> I know where it's always gonna be. Okay, so let me just quickly just comment the rest of them out. Um, I've got my callback function, so let's just make sure that callback back function isn't that isn't commented out yeah it isn't so it's here as well so I'm just gonna quickly save that refresh and as you can see we now have a top level menu with its own dedicated menu page I mean that's relatively simple it is once you get the hang of it um, you can be building quite quite several menus there, there, there may be people out there by saying that there is an easier way to do this um, I may be doing it wrong or whatever but at the end of the day if it works and you're not exactly going to use this for production and you're using it for development at least you're learning aren't you at least you're learning so right now we've just got this menu page maybe I want more options under here I want something like this I want more options so what we're going to do is that we're going to add sub sub menu pages which is just add sub menu page again parent slug which is the this slug has to match where are we? Your like the main admin title uh, page that you've got. So I've got the main menu slug is Rocket Bean Menu, and the parent slug for the sub menu is Rocket Bean Menu. So it has to match because it has to go somewhere. Because if you just say add sub uh, menu page and you don't put a parent slug in or you put it wrong, it won't display at all. So you you have to put that. <clears throat> and then I've just got the page title, the menu title capability again, the menu slug, uh, again this slug here, um, and the callback function. So what function do I want to run for the options one page? So if I just quickly, s oh hang on, I do need to uncomment the function to load the options pages, that would be good. So if I now save that, and refresh, oh what have I done? Oh, I forgot to remove a fucking. There we go. There we go. So now I've got some options. I've got option one, option two, and option three. But I've got the same page here. I mean, it's practically the same page. It's, it's that one. It's just that's the same menu. So there's two links. I, w I don't want two links. I want one link. So what you can do is that you can go to the admin menu page, which is this one. And I want to remove the manage options capability. I may be doing this wrong, but this is how I figured it out. I just put in null. I click save. Just quickly refresh my page. You're sorry you're not allowed to access the page because I've removed the page completely. So I'll just click refresh here and it now disappears. So now I've got just that one page which goes directly to nothing. It goes to nothing because Actually, that doesn't need to be null. Can that be null? No. If I say options, if I say options one, and save that and refresh. Oh no 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 no. That yeah that can be null. That can be null. That's fine because if it's null and it can't load anything and it's got no cap. Well actually, if I just if I change that back to manage options again, and if I say this is null, just say null. Refresh. No, it comes back. So, oh, go back. No, it goes back. So, that has to be null. Not quite sure why that happens, but it is. So, that just removes the extra menu of what I thought. There may be a different way of doing this, and there may be a better way of doing this, but this is just from what I've just learned. So, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So, now if we just clear it up a little bit. So, now it pops out like that. So, you've got option one. Option two and option three, and this is what I'm currently building. Same again, I've just called it uh, Rocket Theme Options Page One to match the callback function here. Same with number two and number three, and I've just repeated them both and changed them ones and twos to threes. Okay, so that's pretty much it, guys. If you uh, if you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments. If you didn't, let me know in the comments as well, so I can improve and make a better video. I will put links in this links. Uh, to these administrative menus and the options menus in my description below as well so you don't get lost and I will also put a copy of my code um, on a uh, on a file somewhere and I'll link it as well into that in the description 
<clears throat> so thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this, guys. Uh, keep an eye out um, for a, ne a new video coming next week. Sorry about the uh, camera not working today. Uh, the camera's broken, so having a bit of issue with that. So trying to find a new one. Uh, so that's about it. Um, see you in a bit. Bye-bye.